Hello guys, welcome back. In the last class, we discussed slicing strings, legs and tuples. But in this class, we're going to discuss striding strings, legs and tuples. One might ask, what is the difference between slicing and striding? Like you saw in the last class, when we slice, we simply selected a character or range of characters or items from a string. But when we stride, we kind of loop through the entire string with a given step. Now to illustrate this, I have the string list and tuples already assigned to variables x1, l1 and t1 respectively. As you can see on the Python interactive ideally. Now if I go ahead and type this expression, so what this code is saying is um, I want Python to start from index position 3 up to index position 18, looping 3 step at a time. Now if I go ahead and hit enter on my keyboard, you can see it returns L E I space T. So what happened is that it starts from the index position 3 which is L, so it picks L, it loops 3 times which is 2, 3, it picks E, it loops 3 times again which it picks W, I, it picks I, then it loops 3 times again T, H, then it has a space here before it loops the, the next 3 times which it picks this T here and after which it must have exhausted the 18th index because it cannot loop 3 times again. Just take your time and um, understand it and take the illustrations on the right hand side and see if you can understand what is happening. So if I go ahead and type this expression, I'm looping from index 8, then I take my column index 8 to 15 and I'm taking two steps at a time. Now if I hit enter, I see what is returned there. The same thing, I started from index position 8 which is supposed to be is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 80 space here. Okay, so I pick W, then I take two steps, which is 1, 2, I pick T, I take another step, 1, 2, I have a space here, take another two, one, two. 1, 2, I pick Y, then after which I must have reached the 15th index, I can't look further. Okay, if I type this next one, now I will deliberately omit the, the lower range, then I'm looping all through 15, and I'm taking two steps at a time. So when I hit enter, you find out that whenever you meet the lower range, it defaults to the zero index. So it will loop right from here all through to this 15th index. So take your time, it takes i, it loops two times, it cut a space here, it loops two times again, it meets o just in that order until you reach the 15th index you understand what is happening there so if i take another one this time i will say x1 my slice operator now i will deliberately omit the lower range as well now i'm stopping at index 15 and i give it a negative step minus 2. when i hit enter you see that it returns only nh so what happened is that it defaults to minus 1, which is this first one. So it picks the end, it loops two times, then it meets H. And of course, if we continue looping, it must have exceeded this 15 index. Okay? That is why it returned only N and H. So when you omit the, the lower range and you give it a positive step, it defaults to 0. When you omit the lower range and it gives it a negative step, it defaults to minus 1. One common use of string striding is to relax the string. For example, if I type x, I take my slice operator, then I type this. I omit both the lower range and the upper range, and I will give it a negative step of minus 1. So when I hit enter, look at what happens. If there's a mistake there. It should be x1. So x1 minus 1. Okay, right there, I have it. Now, Look at this expression here. I omitted the fixed lower range and the upper range and I gave it a negative step of minus one. So you see that it starts from N and reverse the other. So this is one common use of string striding in Python to revise the order of the strings. So now for the list and tuples, if I type this expression and I give the lower range of zero, 
I'm stopping at the night index, then I'm taking a step off to the time. So when I hit enter, I see that it returns odd numbers. So what happens is that if I take it up a little, it starts from the zero index, which is one, and it loops one, two, it picks three, one, two, it picks five, one, two, it picks seven. In that order, it loops to the ninth index. As simple as that. So if I pick the next one, if I say T1, I take my slides operator, then three, I'm stopping at nine, I'm taking two steps at a time. You see, returns go, you, and her because I started at the third index. So for L1, which is for the list, if I pick uh, maybe L1, open and close, and I just type the same expression I type for the strings to reverse the order, you see what we have from 10 back to 1. Then T1, take my slash operator minus one i'm picking it from woman back to in so just to revise the order of the list and the tuples question of the day how can i select the last character from a string and how can i select the last item from a list or a tuple drop your answers in the comment section all right guys that is striding strings list and tuples for you in python Thank you for joining us and see you in the next class.